Hey y'all, welcome to my curls. I'm doing another edition of my bathroom empties. I wanna share with you in this video all of the bath and beauty products that Randy and I have gone through in the past couple months. So here we go, let's get started on my empties video. Things I have used up, things I liked, there were a couple things I didn't like, and I'm gonna share that with you in this video today. So welcome to my channel, my name is Renee, and. Welcome to my curls. Let's get going on my bath and beauty and health empties. This is my basket and I kind of had to go through here and organize stuff because it was flowing out all underneath my um, back in, in the cabinet. It was all in the floor. It has just become, oh my goodness gracious. So I tried to toss out any products that I talked about in my previous empties video because I didn't want to duplicate. There's just one or two things I see in here that I feel like are worth mentioning again because we really love them. So here we go. Let's get to it. Top of the basket, just because this was sitting on top, are these little nice and clean lens wipes. And Randy, my husband, wears glasses. And y'all, I got glasses. And these are filthy. <laughs> I had to get glasses for when I read or when I'm working on my computer. And I really have come to rely on my glasses. But as you can see, the lenses get dirty. And I discovered these little things because Randy was always cleaning his glasses with like soap and water and I felt like that was not great. And so I found these at my grocery store. It's just an individual little lens wipe and I keep these in my purse. Randy keeps these in his truck. He has them at his desk at work. I just always have them on me because my glasses get filthy. So it's just a little wipe like that. And it's just the perfect little wet wipe. And it is just does, it just does such a good job on cleaning glasses. It is a one use wipe, y'all. In a couple minutes, this little pad is gonna be dry and you just toss it out. But yes, there's me in my little peepers. I do have one of those little um, microfiber towel things that I keep inside of my case for my glasses and I'll use that I mean that's fine occasionally but when my glasses get dirty and fingerprints on them I really I really want the wipe so what's next I love doing these videos they are so much fun I don't know why but I just do <laughs> okay so this is a new product to me something new that I tried Neutrogena Hydro Boost let me give you a little information on on this. I have always used Neutrogena lotion. Always, always, and I mean for like 20 years. My sister and I have always used this Neutrogena lotion. It was an unscented lotion. I do not like scented products. And last year, Neutrogena discontinued it stopped making it and so my sister and i have been trying different lotions we talk to each other every day we give our opinion she'll she'll try something hates it and we have not been able to find a lotion that we like now i put on lotion as soon as i get out of the shower i put it on my legs i put it on my elbows and in the summertime i even put it on my shoulders because my t my shoulders tend to get dry from just being out in the sun so I love a good lotion and I love an unscented lotion. I'm so disappointed with Neutrogena for discontinuing the version we had. And I'm gonna find a picture of it on the internet and I'm gonna stick it right here so you can see what we used to what we used to use. And I loved that lotion. I, I don't understand why they discontinued it. Anyway, whatever. So I bought this Neutrogena Hydro Boost because on the Neutrogena website, in fact, it says this is the best replacement for their lotion that was discontinued. I've had this big bottle for like three months, I feel like it took me forever to get through this bottle. And I felt obligated to use it because it was quite pricey. 
This is the best thing I've found to replace the Neutrogena, but honestly, I still didn't love it. And my sister tried it, and she didn't love it either. And it's funny because we each, we did not tell each other that we each bought this, but we both did separately. So we were talking about it the other day, and I'm like, hey, and she said, hey, did you get the Neutrogena in the blue bottle? And I said, yes, and I just don't love it. But today, I got to the very end of it. It started sputtering it. And so my obligation is over. I don't think I'm going to repurchase this. And here's why. See how it says it's a gel, a body gel? It's just, it's just weird. Let me show you what this looks like. It looks like lotion when you squirt it out. But it has a weird consistency to it. So when you put it on your legs, it just feels weird. It does not feel like lotion, even though it sort of, it looks like lotion. It does have a, I don't know if crunchy is the right word, a little bit of a crunchy gel feeling to it. And I just didn't love it. So this, this is a no-go for me. I'm still looking for the perfect lotion. Sunscreen, it is summertime and I am a sunscreen fanatic. I will not go outside in the sun unless every inch of me is covered in sunscreen. Now, this is what I use on my body. From right here down, this is what I use. I love the way it smells. I love the way it's not greasy. It goes on really well. It always does a good job. So this is what Randy and I go through. You know we have a pool. We love the sun. We're always outside, and this is my favorite sunscreen. Hawaiian Tropic Sheer Touch, and I wear a 30. I used something different on my face, and the tube was not empty, so I'm not sharing it in this video. But if you're looking for a good all-over body sunscreen, this is what I recommend. So this is in here again. This is Randy Shampoo OGX, I think is what it's called. Tea Tree Mint Shampoo. He loves this stuff. He loves the tingly mint feeling on his head. Of course, he's a guy, really short hair. He can use whatever he wants to, but this is his shampoo, and he's out. My face wash. I am a Clinique girl. I have been using Clinique face wash since I was a teenager, I think. Like, no joke, I really have. And I love the liquid facial soap. I use it in a mild. Um, I don't know why. That's just what I always bought, and I have stuck with it. It does come in a regular version, and I think now they even have this out that says for sensitive skin. I just use mild, and this is what I love. I've tried it in the soap, but like the bar version. It's just messy. Uh, it's just so much easier for me to have it in this pump because I keep it in my drawer. I get it out at night. I clean my face, and this is perfect. Um, I keep one of these in the shower also, so if I've been outside and I have sunscreen on my face, I will use this to wash my face in the shower, and then this is what I use every night to get off my makeup. Clinique Liquid Facial Soap in a Mild. Who knows if it's just genetics, but I really don't have breakouts. I don't have skin problems. I have a pretty even skin tone, and I attribute it to this soap and my facial moisturizer. I use Ole Henriksen Sheer Transformation. And I talked about both of these products in a video where I did, I think I called it Get Ready for Bed With Me, my nighttime skincare routine. And I kind of talked in depth about these, but Ole Henriksen is my must have facial product. It is a moisturizer. I use it every morning and I use it every night. It is fantastic stuff. Now, this is a three ounce bottle. I ran out of it, so I went online to order another three ounce bottle. And apparently, Old Hendrickson has decided to stop making this in a three ounce because there were so many people complaining on their website. Why would you stop making this big one? Instead, they replaced it with a one point four ounce. And in doing so, they raised the price. So I was not happy about that because this is the most expensive product that I buy for myself. And I didn't mind spending the money because I truly believe in this moisturizer. But when they cut it in basically half, that made me a little unhappy.
but yet you see that I bought it. I've never found another facial moisturizer that I liked as much as this one. I've been using it for years and I'm gonna pay for it. I just, I don't care. I'm gonna pay for it because I believe in it. So Old Hendrickson Sheer Transformation Perfecting Moisturizer is an absolute must for me. So, if you all notice, my hair is looking particularly good today. It is white and bright and shiny and look how white my white hair is. And that is because I used my Joico Purple Balance Shampoo. I used it in the shower just earlier today. I get so many questions about do, if you have gray hair, do you need purple shampoo? When do you need to start using purple shampoo? How do you use purple shampoo? Why do you need purple shampoo? And I am going to film a video about purple shampoo, and I think I'm gonna do it after I finish filming this video. This is my favorite purple shampoo, Joico Purple Balance. This stuff is so great for so many reasons, and it just, keeps my white hair white and shiny and bright. All of the products that I use, I'm going to put links to them in the description box below. So you might be able to find them locally, but if you need to order them online, I'm probably most of them, of them are available on Amazon, or if you need to order them online, I will provide a link for you below. Oh, speaking of hair stuff, because my hair is looking good today, my T-I-G-I -I Catwalk Curls Rock Amplifier. This is my absolute favorite, gotta have it, can't live without it hair product. It keeps my curls bouncy, it keeps them in place, it keeps my hair lifted, it gives me, not that I need volume with all these curls, but it does give me volume. If I don't use the Curls Rock Amplifier, my, my curls fall throughout the day. I get frizzy hair. This is just, I, I've talked about this in so many videos. I'll link them right up here. I did a video where I showed you how I styled my hair. I did another video where I talked about my favorite hair products, and this is in every single video. I love Curls Rock. Yeah. Let's talk about hand soap for the bathroom. Since we're in a pandemic and we can't go out and go shopping, I have not been able to get my hands on my favorite hand soap. I normally go to the mall, I get it at Bath and Body Works, and our mall has been closed and Bath and Body Works has not opened back up. It has been months. So I tried to go on their website and order it, didn't have it. I don't know what's going on, but the other day, they got it back in stock. And so I ordered an entire box of it. Hold, let me get the box. This is my box from Bath and Body Works full of soap. So in the bathroom, Randy and I have our own sinks. So we each have our own soap preference. We have a guest bathroom. The girls have a bathroom upstairs. And I love this kitchen soap from Bath and Body Works, but I didn't love it for the bathroom. It is kitcheny. The kitchen mandarin and the kitchen lemon is really good soap. Don't want it in my bathroom and this is really all I could get my hands on. So we've been using this in the meantime and I told you in my other empties video that I could not wait to get my hands on my favorite bath soap. And here it is. It's the Bath and Body Works Aromatherapy line Energy orange and ginger. I love this stuff. I mean, I just, I love it. This is what I have at my sink. Randy, however, prefers the, again, from the aromatherapy line, stress relief, eucalyptus spearmint. This is what he loves. So I've got mine. He has his. I bought different soaps at our grocery store. I hated them. I bought a soap that was recommended to me. It made my hands, both Randy and I were like, we feel like we washed our hands in citronella. Ooh, hated it. So when Bath and Body Works started carrying this stuff again, I don't know where it went, but I was so excited. I bought an entire, like, look at this. It was on sale and I bought it. So I'm good to go. But if your Bath and Body Works is open and you can walk in and get your hands on that stuff, give it a try. It is really good stuff. 
We used a body wash. I like to wash with a loofah. This is my go-to soap, Dove Bath and Body Wash. I take vitamin E. I take vitamin E because I have fibrous breasts. My gynecologist, my, my doctor has always said that I need to take vitamin E to help with the fibrous breast. I've been taking it for probably 10 years and this is what I get. So vitamin E for me, this is the only vitamin that I take. Randy, however, loves this Goli apple cider vinegar. They're gummies. And he swears that this gummy helps him with digestion and heartburn. He has horrible heartburn. And he swears by this stuff. He's been using it for probably, I don't know, seven, eight months. He gets a bottle delivered automatically to our house once a month. And he swears by this stuff. And I talked about it in the other video. And you, so many of you all commented that you have tried this and actually... Um, and it works for you too. I don't have heartburn, so I don't know. I just know that this is what he he loves. He really, really believes in these gummies. I don't know if they're technically a vitamin, so I, I don't want to say that, but he swears they help with his heartburn and his digestion. So yeah, Goli apple cider vinegar. And I'll tell you, they smell like a sour apple, like Jolly Rancher. And here's the weird thing. Randy gets out of bed in the morning and he walks straight from our bed into the bathroom and eats and eats one of these. So if I am anywhere near him, I smell the, like a sour apple candy and it kind of freaks me out. I don't know how he can eat that first thing in the morning. It's so, it's so shocking to me. So I can't even be in the room to smell it, but this is what he eats, y'all. He swears by it. And then there's my Tarte foundation. This is an Amazonian clay full coverage foundation. It is a powder foundation. I've talked about it in several videos before. This is completely empty. <laughs> and it makes me so mad when it's empty because I have Randy pry off. Let me show you something first. If you don't know what a clay foundation is, you, you have to have this certain little brush and you dab it into this little mesh thingy and it applies it onto the brush and then you put it on. Well, with this thing is almost empty, the, the powder gets caught in the corners and you can't pick it up with your brush. And I gotta get every little stinking bit out of this so I have Randy pry off the little thing because I can never get it off so I can get directly to the powder. So I emptied it out 100%. It is completely gone and I put it in my basket. But of course, I got myself a new one. So this one's full. I use it every day. This is my foundation of choice. I love a powder. It took me a minute to get used to the powder, honestly, but I love it. I've talked about it in a video um, where, I, where I shared my makeup with you all. I'll link that right up there. But my Tarte Amazonian Clay Full Coverage. Ooh, hold, let me put my glasses on to read it. I wear a color called Medium Neutral, and it is a full coverage airbrush foundation by Tarte. Love, love, love this stuff. We're getting to the end of the basket, y'all. Then there's my MAC lipstick. MAC has discontinued my favorite, favorite color. I'm so disappointed. What is up with all these companies discontinuing things? <sighs> Anyway, it was a Viva Glam, and I love the Viva Glam, but my favorite color was a Viva Glam V1. Is that a, is that a five? Is that a five? I don't know. And they discontinued it. This is what it looked like. It's just, I don't know. I'm going to have to go, when, when malls open back up, I'm going to have to go to a Mac store and find a replacement for this because I just really loved it. I love MAC lipsticks. I love the luster. Um, that is the, the, the feel of the lipstick is luster. And the color was Viva Glam V1. I hope that's five. It could be four. I don't know. Whatever it is. Don't know my Roman numerals. V1. Um, but this is my favorite. And so I'm going to have to replace this. Okay, next thing is 
my Refresh Tears eye drops. I talked about this in the other video, so I'm not gonna go into the depth as to why I love this, but I do love these eye drops. I use them every morning and every night before I go to bed. I have really dry eyes. I sleep with a ceiling fan on. My eyes just would always feel gritty and grainy and like I wanted to rub them. And this is a lubricating eye drop. It's sort of, it's, it is lubricating. It's just a little bit oily. And so when you put them in there, your vision's gonna be blurry for about 30 seconds. But that little bit of lubrication really keeps the eye drops in your eyes. And this has significantly helped me with my dry eyes. My ophthalmologist um, recommended this. Optometrist? Ophthalmologist? My optometrist? <laughs> My eye doctor recommended this to me several years ago, and I have been using it ever since, and I love this stuff, so it's really good stuff. Really good eye drops. I've got this one little curl who's just a bobbing and a weaving and hanging in my hair, and I don't know what's going on. But the last thing in my basket, the last thing, is my shampoo. I ran out of shampoo myself. I use the Matrix Total Results Mega Sleek Shampoo, and I use this conditioner also. I'm good on conditioner. I just ran out of the shampoo. Wait, no, this is the conditioner. I use the Matrix Total Results Mega Sleek Shea Butter Conditioner. I use the shampoo also on days when I'm not using my Purple Balance Shampoo, but I love this conditioner. It is works perfectly with my hair type. It is snotty, it is slick, I get a big old handful of it, I rake it through my hair and I leave it in my hair while I'm shaving and washing. So it's in there a minute or two and then I only rinse it out about 50%. I love to leave my hair slick and snotty when I get out of the shower. But Matrix Total Results is my favorite conditioner. So that's it, y'all, my basket is empty. All of that stuff was in a little basket. So that kind of wraps it up for my bath and beauty and health products, my empties, the things that I loved and the things that I did not love so much. And now I'm gonna put my empty basket back under my counter and I'll start again. But I hope you all enjoyed my video. Again, I will put all of the links to the products that I showed you in the description box below. Most of them are available on Amazon. Um, and yeah, so that's it. If you all enjoy the videos I'm putting out, give them a thumbs up. YouTube loves it when I get thumbs up on my videos. I'm having a ball doing this. I love doing the empties videos. There is something so exciting about forgetting that all of this stuff is in the basket and when I get it out, I, just, I love seeing it all, it's fun. So I hope you all enjoyed the video. Give some of the products that, that I preferred a try. I don't try the ones I didn't like, but, um, Give them a try. You might find something that you like for yourself. So until next time, I'll see you later.